Okay, this is the second phase. We're going to have to make a, a second cut. And again, this is all bee management. A bee removal company serving in Southern California and Arizona. And Dave has uh, made a second cut uh, because the first hive, after we got the bees away um, with the smoker at this point, because they were way too aggressive, uh, we have to go cut an area below the hive so we don't lose any uh, during the removal down the chimney. Some chimneys have a stopping point, others don't, and so we don't want to leave any, we don't want any hive dropping. So Dave's going to go ahead and open it up again. As I may have mentioned before, chimneys are, can be the hardest removals. Uh, because of where they're located obviously um, because of the styles as you see and because uh, we only have uh, one and a couple sides to work with the back sides the easiest the front would have to be from the ladder or the side of the chimney and the sides of the chimney you're, too, you're really close to the uh, to the edge At this point, you may have to make a deeper cut to loosen up that piece of stucco. We also, when we make our cuts, we try to loosen the inside, if it's possible, uh, for aesthetic reasons. And when we do our patches, we just uh, we use a general stucco patch, uh, which turns it grayish or whitish. As you can see, the noise of the uh, grinder has made the bees more aggressive as before. We've used the smoker to remove them from the area so we can look at it. Um, but now they're back to uh, the same aggressiveness. Uh, sometimes that stucco can also be still attached to the hive if the hive's long enough or deep enough into the cavity also can make it a bit difficult to remove because it's, 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 they've structured the hive against that. Hopefully in this case it's not. We've, we'll be here a lot longer. Unfortunately, the hive still goes deeper. And uh, this will conclude this second phase of the removal, and we'll come back to you.